Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to explain why the function is discontinuous at the given number a, and to sketch a graph of the function. So first of all, the function is continuous at point a if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. So here a is 0, so we're looking to see that the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to f of 0. f of 0 is the value of the function at 0, which we're told is 0. So we need to, sh to show that it's discontinuous, we need to show that the limit is not equal to 0. So first we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. This is the limit as x approaches 0. From the left means value smaller than 0, so that means of cosine of x. So this is cosine of 0, which is 1. And the limit as x approaches 0 from the right is the limit as x approaches 0 of values greater than 0. So that's 1 minus x squared is 1 minus 0 squared is 1. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to 1 and therefore is not equal to 0. Therefore, the function at x equals 0 is discontinuous. Let's draw a graph of the function. So first of all, uh, we have the graph of cosine of x. That's easy enough. We know that 0. But 1 minus x squared is not one of the standard functions that we learned. So if to start with x squared, the negative sign in front of it means we are reflecting it. It's outside of the function. Therefore, it's over the x-axis. So that looks like this. And then um, we have to add 1 to the function, so we shift it up one unit. Therefore, when we're actually drawing our function, we have for x is greater than 0, so starting at 0 with an open circle to denote that the function does not equal y minus x squared at x equals 0, we have this function. At x equals 0, the function equals 0. And at values less than 0, it's cosine of x. So if we draw the cosine function, it just goes off to infinity that way. And we can see that the limit does exist, and it equals 1, but it does not equal the value of the function. Therefore, by the graph and by the calculations, we can see that the function is discontinuous at x equals 0.